Hi and welcome to another Windsor Cake Academy tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really quick and easy Christmas themed chocolate bark. So what I need to make this, um, you're going to need a tray because you're going to want to transfer this to the fridge. And I'm using, to line my tray, a chocolate transfer sheet. Uh, it's got a really cute little pale blue snowflake design on there but that's, that's not compulsory. Um, what you could use instead if you want a nice shiny bottom to your chocolate is you could use an acetate sheet or if you're not too bothered what the underneath looks like you could just do it on top of parchment and that would be absolutely fine. What else I've got is some chocolate popping candy, some white chocolate curls and I've got some sort of frozen themed sprinkles. I also have some tempered dark chocolate. Now, we have got another video that shows you how to temper this quickly and easily in the microwave, so if you do need any help and pointers, just pop to that video, watch that first, and then come back to this one. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pour some chocolate onto my transfer sheet, and I'm not going to go crazy. I don't need tons. I'm just going to use a palette knife to just spread that back and forward, making sure that it's a reasonable thickness all the way across reasonably even. It doesn't have to be perfect though, it's just bark. Try and spread it out as much as I can to get right up to the edges, really make the most of this transfer sheet. But just be careful not to make any areas too thin. Okay, now we're all spread. And I'm going to just decorate the top. So I think first we'll go for my white chocolate curls. And I'm just going to give those a liberal sprinkling. Not forgetting that we have got two other toppings that we need to squeeze on there as well. So that's the chocolate curls on. I'm going to go to my chocolate covered popping candy next. Sprinkle. Making sure that I'm going to get a piece on every single piece of bark. Okay, that looks good. And finally, we're going to finish off with our... Oops. Okay, we just took a little cut there because I sent my sprinkles flying all over the table, so be careful when you're getting your sprinkles out of the packet. Now I've got a handful, so I'm just going to sprinkle those liberally across the surface of our bark. more and I think that's plenty really. So what we're going to do now is leave this out just until it's touch dry and then we're going to pop it in the fridge just for a few minutes. Okay so our bark um, was touch dry within about five minutes and then we popped it into the fridge for another five to ten minutes. We don't want to leave it in there too long. So now what we're going to do is I'm just going to have it on its side and hold it. I'm going to peel away my transfer sheet and you can see that beautiful cocoa butter design has transferred really, really well onto our chocolate. And my hands are quite warm. If your hands are very, very warm, you can pop on some latex gloves um, and that should hold the heat away a little bit, but I'm just going to try not to handle it too much. I've got these lovely little um, treat bags with a nice soft bottom in them, so I'm going to pop my bark straight into that. So I'm just going to break it into decent sized pieces and then I'm just going to pop those pieces straight into our treat bag. 
making sure that some are facing up, some are facing down so we can see that gorgeous snowflake design on the bottom. There we go, all in. These bags are great because they come with a little twist tie. So we can just use that twist tie to secure the top of the bag. Let's wrap around once, really sort of pull it tight, and then twist that to hold it together. And then I'll just pull those apart and wrap them right the way around. So I'm going to cover those with a little red ribbon. I'm just going to tie a quick bow. And there we go. Christmas bark makes a beautiful stocking filler or gift for somebody. 